Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about finding duplicates in the data set using Azure Data Factory Dataflow activity. So the scope of the video is to find duplicates. Okay, we will cover up next how to find and duplicate and get the data free of the duplicates. Okay, so here is our data set. You can see it has five columns, order ID, customer ID, employee ID, order date and ship ID. Now you can clearly see that there are order IDs. Here you can see this row 6th and 7th, 10251 order ID and its corresponding values in other columns are repeated twice. So this is duplicate. Then another ID is 10248 which is the first row okay and the last row that is also repeated so we can clearly see from this small data set that we have two ids which are duplicated in this input data set now in general through sql the very easy way of finding duplicate this is one of the way there exists other ways too like ct etc that we'll discuss later but the easiest way in sql to find duplicates is we will select first of all the order ID then the count count of the order ID from the table and we will aggregate or group by on the column and then through that column we will find whether the count of that count means the occurrence okay of that column value is greater than one okay so for all others, it will be equal to 1 and for 10248 and 10251, the occurrence is twice. So that, that record we will get. So that occurrence or the count greater than 1 will give us the duplicate records. So the same logic uh, which we apply in SQL, that is grouping by on the columns and then using the having clause and the count aggregation then checking greater than one we will apply the same logic but in the mapping data flow activity so the output in this case we will generate as the order id column and the count okay because we will be calculating the count so these two ids will be having count as two and the non-duplicate ids will have the count as one so we want a table in the SQL database as dupes table and non dupes table duplicate and non duplicate like this okay so we are just finding out those order IDs which are having duplicates in the input data set and the order IDs which are not having duplicates so let's go to the Azure data factory to implement the same so let's go to the data factory we will create a pipeline and we'll name it as duplicates okay and then we will take the data flow activity and we will name the data flow activity also as data flow duplicates and then we'll connect to the source so the source data set this input data set is already present as a csv in my storage account in the test input folder as dupes input dot csv let's open it and we'll try to preview the data here too so here we can preview that the data is same okay now we'll go back to the Azure data factory and we will try to import that source okay so we'll go to the source and at the data set level we'll try to connect to the storage into account the file is csv so it will be delimited text we will name it as duplicate input link service is already there so we'll connect to it and then file path it's inside the test input folder as dupes input.csv we'll click ok first row has header so we'll check that and click ok so we have so we have connected to the data set okay the input data set we'll go to the data preview 
and since the data flow debug option is already enabled we can refresh and preview the data so here's the data next step as we know in sql we have to perform group by okay group by here is done through the aggregate transformation which is under the schema modifier section so we have to aggregate so we'll use the aggregate transformation and in the aggregate settings in the first tab we have two separate configurations one is for group by and the other is for defining the aggregate function so we'll first configure the group by in the group by as you can clearly see from the sql that we are grouping by on the order id column in this case so we'll select the order id column and then we'll go to the aggregates and in the aggregates we are aggregating using the count function so the aggregation here is done on count so we'll select the column name as let's say count and in the expression we will have this count function so we have this count function and if you hover over it it says count gets the aggregate count of values if the optional column is specified it ignores nulls in the count so count and in the expression we will select the order id okay so this is done we'll save and finish and we will go to the data preview and click on refresh So upon refreshing we can clearly see that we have got the order id and the count column generated okay the order id which we have specified in the group by configuration and the count we have defined a new column count with the aggregate function count so we have got it and now we have to filter out the records which are having count equals to 1 count equals to 1 means they are not having duplicates and count greater than 1 it can be 2 it can be 3 so the count if greater than 1 will be treated as duplicates so in our case only two records and that two ha are having occurrence as twice are considered as duplicate let's say this first record is having one more row here so the count would have been here 3 okay for this record but here we have only the duplicates and that two occurring twice so now we will in order to filter the duplicates and the non duplicates so that we will convert them into the output stream as dupes and non dupes we will use the conditional split transformation conditional split transformation lies under the multiple inputs and outputs section so we'll use conditional split and here we will define the stream name so the first stream to get the dupes will be the dupe stream let's say we name it as dupes and here in the condition we will write if the count is greater than 1 okay we'll click on save and finish and all the non dupes will be in the default stream so rows that do not meet any condition will use this output stream okay so the default stream will be non dupes next we will go to the data preview and click on refresh so here you can see in the conditional split we have the output streams as dupes and non dupes so in the data preview also we have two streams displayed here so the dupes will be having the count greater than 1 so these two records will display here and in the non dupes will preview that it will have the records which are having the count as This conditional split has helped us to split the records or find the dupes and the non-dupes. Now, now the next step is to attach it to the sync. So we want to create two separate tables, and there we want to uh, store the output of the duplicates and the non-duplicates. So we'll connect the sync here, and we'll create the data set in the SQL database, and we'll. already have the link service we want to create a new table in the dbo schema and the table name we want as let's say dupes 
we click ok and for the non loops we will go to the sync again and connect to the data set and again try to create a new table in the same tbo schema as non loops click ok so this is done next we'll go to the settings and enable the truncate table option in both the sync so that whenever we have the data changed at the source level we'll get the fresh duplicates and the non duplicate record and next we'll go to the data preview of the sync one and click on refresh so this stream will fetch us the duplicate record so it will store order id count which is having two or count greater than one so duplicates will be landed into this sync one and in the sync two let's go to the data preview and refresh so here will be the three order ids which are not duplicates so this is how we can find the duplicates and the non duplicates records so next we can go to the pipeline and execute the pipeline to get the data stored into the database i hope you've got the basic idea of finding duplicates in azure data factory using data flow activity transformations aggregate conditional split we can use filter too okay so thank you for watching the video happy learning